I got Valentine's cards, pictures. You got a secret admirer? Huh? You got a secret admirer? No, this is a little girl actually made a Facebook video of me. For real? Right. Said she gonna marry me. <laughs> she's like six. Yeah. She's like six years old. It was last year. She said she's gonna marry me. Calls me making bacon. <laughs> the first thing on your mind but at halftime when you're I think you had six points is it on your mind at all the 20 point thing at that point and, and how much you have to do in the in the second half never it's never on my mind um it can end any night I'm not the guy who's gonna just go chase points so if it happens it happens if it doesn't oh well I just want to win yeah um you guys you had turnovers on your first five possessions didn't even get a shot up I guess what, what was going on and then obviously once you got shots you know things turned out okay I mean, we were, I think we were going too fast. We were trying to get, you know, things going that weren't trying to, like, that weren't with us at the time. So that's my take on it. What, what, what do you think, Daryl? How frustrating was it? Um, it wasn't frustrating. We just had to settle down. I was a little bit too giddy at the beginning, going too fast. Right. A little too hype. So we just had to settle down and play ball. For both of you guys, you guys were able to hold them to 25% shooting for the day. What went into it defensively to cause that? Um, we knew that was a um, a good three point shooting team. So, with th- good three point shooting teams, you got to make them drive first, shoot second. So, I think that kind of made them off balance a little bit. Yeah, that was like our main objective was you know give them the cold shoulder on the three point line, make them drive like Daryl said. You know. Uh, both guys, did that seem like some of y'all's best movement there in the second half? You were into it. Barford was hitting shots. You were getting some one-on-ones down low. To, was that some of the best flow y'all had all season? Uh, no. Um, we played better. Uh, we just got to keep working. Uh, the second half was our better half. We was. I, can, I can actually agree with you on moving the ball, people movement, cutting screen. But that's not our best ball. So. Yeah, I'm a – Agree with him on that. That's not our best basketball. We could play way better basketball than that because in the first half, that, that that wasn't us at all. We just had to adjust. We had to get back to the way we used to playing. Dan, I thought it was your better, but, but, you know, one of your best games, best ones in a while. Mm-hmm. On both ends, Bryce Drew talked about, you know, the impact you had with all those block shots. Could you talk about your game and what was really working? And, Daryl, what did you think of, of Daniel's game too? Well, I mean, um, making the three-pointers, you know, a drivers and stuff, I, I got to protect the basket pretty much. And so I had it in my mind I was just going to send out everything that came in. And they tell me that before every game, whatever comes in, just throw it out, and they'll clean up the rest. Um, you want me to finish up? Yeah, yeah. What, what you think of Daniel's game? Um, I'm not actually sure what you mean when you say it's his best game in a while. Of Daniel's – I think Daniel's been playing good every game. I mean, it's not about scoring, if that's what people think. It's not about scoring. It's not about the dunks. He's a big impact out there. He's get, he gets offensive rebounds, defensive rebounds, block shots, uh, rotate good, hustle, run the floor. It's all those things. It's not just the, the things that get people off their, off their, out of their seats. So I think he's been playing well the whole time. I guess what did you all do on Roberson and Lachance? Because they were way below their averages, obviously, in, in – uh tonight um the main thing was just to make them uncomfortable all game uh pressure them full court for 40 minutes make them drive uh keep Robinson is it Robinson Robinson off the glass uh he's a great offensive rebounder I think he's third in the SEC in double double so I don't think did he get a double double tonight no, no. He didn't have anybody scoring double figures. oh wow um, you guys gotta go back on the road to Ole Miss now how do you feel about about going there, and, and you know, do you feel good? You got some momentum built up here with a couple home wins. I mean, we should be comfortable going to play them, even though that we got a win here. But I mean, we just can't, you know, take it as we beat them. We're gonna go beat them again because you never know. It's, we're on the road. We don't get everything on the road, so it's gonna be a tough game. Uh, gotta bring our hard hats going on the road. We gotta stay together, uh, play as a team. Um, I think if we go on the road with the defensive mindset first, we'll come out with a win. Just play Razorback basketball. Daniel, that sequence, the end of the game, the block, and then the windmill <laughs> dunk. I was waiting on that question. <laughs> <laughs> when did you know that you were going to do the windmill? I really didn't even know. I just went up, and, like, in my mind, 
I thought the guy was behind me was going to jump with me, so I was just going to dunk it. But then I seen a wide open lane, so my eyes just so got beat. You going to sit here and tell them that you had no intentions on windmilling? <laughs> you could see it from half court that he was going to try something. It wasn't a close game, so he was going to try something whether he missed it or not. I don't know why he just said that. I'm going uh, to let Macon Bacon finish what I <laughs> finish what I had to say. <laughs> Sports in the top ten. Oh yeah, y'all gotta get Johnny Boy in here because Johnny Boy. I mean, he's Johnny Boy. 